In today's video, we are going to talk about how to split test product images on your shopping and performance max campaigns by changing your product images on Google Merchant Center. We are going to cover when to start split testing product images, which types of images to use and how to go ahead and actually change these images, how to analyze the data, how to do the split test. I'm Paulo Galeri, founder of Galeri Advertising, where we help brands doing anywhere from 500,000 a year to 50 million a year, increase Google Ads results and increase monthly revenue by generating more traffic and more qualified traffic to Google Ads. If you need help with your Google Ads campaign, just click the first link in the description and book your strategy call today. Now, without any further ado, let's jump straight into the split test. To start, let's talk about when to start split testing product images. If you have a mature account with stable and high performing campaigns, if you're looking to extract uh, additional performance once all the other critical optimizations have been implemented. Reason I say that is because this is not one of your, of your first implementations as it's a little more complex to do than simply split testing an ad or changing a headline in a search ad. This is something you're going to do once you already have uh, ve very well optimized campaigns that already deliver consistent and reliable results. This is the kind of split test you only do to further improve results to find your edge within campaigns. You don't want to put this as a first priority as this won't be very important in the beginning. As I mentioned here in the beginning, just keep it simple. Uh, focus on implement uh, on optimizations within your campaigns, within your ad account, not on Merchant Center just yet. Um, what are the best types of images to split test? From my experience and from what Google recommends, these, uh, this is kind of the order in which I believe you found, find the most success. The, the, the first one is white background. Most of the, the products you see out there, uh, well ranked on shopping play on the shopping placement will have a white background. Now Google made it that way because they wanted the image to be as clear as possible and to show the product, uh, uh as clearly as possible. Now I'm going to show that there are some exemptions to this rule and, uh, by, by the, the other images I'm going to show you here. However, white background will usually perform really, really well. So I'd always start here. Okay. Always start by testing a white background and your product uh, uh, highlighted in the center. Very simple, but tends to work really well. The second one would be, uh, uh, that's when you start uh, um, testing a bit more here. What you can do here is keep a, a subtle background, a white background, have or add a few elements to your product. For example, uh, this this little yellow detail down here, uh, this kind of shows, uh, this gives an idea of uh, of, of this product, uh, what it is. And here, as you can see, a capsule uh, in the front, and then you can see the shadow here. So that's how you add a little bit more depth to your product image. This product specifically, I know, works extremely well. They are always very well ranked. So this is uh, an, an image type you can try. Third one, showing more elements. This one is one that Google doesn't uh, recommend because they want to keep uh, things very objective. They want to make it as clear as possible what you're selling. On this image, for, for example, you can see that there are three uh, packages. You don't quite know what is being sold. So you can try this, this kind of background because it's quite disruptive. However, uh, this is something that may not perform as well as, for example, a simple white background. However, that's why uh, you have the split test to figure out what works best for your product. So that's something you can also test. Finally, one that I like a lot is a white background. However, with the product, uh, the, the box uh, uh, behind your product, this adds a little bit more to just the packaging. Uh, this shows a little bit of what, what kind of experience your customer will have once they receive the product. And as you can see, for example, this brand does a really good job with their packaging and that adds up a lot in the perception of value. So if you compare, for example, a product that is just on a white background and then something like this, uh, even if they are the same price, this one uh, feels more uh, more value, more, more bang for buck per se, uh, because this has more elements. So this can also work really well for you. I'd say it's worth trying. Now let's talk about how to set up and run this test, which is the part you are probably here for. So uh, on a um, logistically speaking, how you set up this test this is something that you don't do on your Google. Uh, on your dashboard, on Google Ads, on your Ads Manager. This is something you do directly on Merchant Center and, and there's no clear way to do it. This is something you have, as I'm going to show you, is that we do it in a very 
interesting way. So you go to Merchant Center, then you go to Products, All Products, and you click on, on the product you want to split test for, and you click the little uh, pen here, and you're going to open up the product information. You're going to see an image link or upload. So here's where you will upload your new image. Uh, so that's how you do it inside of Merchant Center, all products, edit the product, and then you you either add a link here to the image or you simply upload it. You can also uh, upload additional images uh, which are going to be shown uh, on Merchant Center when someone clicks the shopping listing and uh, sees more information. Now, the most important part of this video, analyzing the data to decide what type of image uh, works be uh, better for you specifically, for your product specifically. Now, you can see the data collected during this test in your standard shopping campaign under products. The standard shopping is your best tool to see how your products are performing because it gives you the, 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 the product, the data breaking, uh, broken out by product. Uh, in this case, you can, uh, you can look at individual metrics from that new experiment you just did. So to do that, you just open your uh, ads manager, you go to uh, product groups, products, uh, and here you are going to be looking at the columns that are affected by your image. You're looking for uh, the, the, the columns that uh, have a direct relationship to how well, uh, how good your image is pretty much. That's CTR and average CPC. Those are the two we look at the most. Your CTR, if it increases, that's a great sign. And if your uh, average CPC decreases, that's also a great sign. And also you wanna be looking at volume metrics. You don't just wanna look at uh, the CTR because the CTR is a percentage. And for, let's say uh, in one week, you have one image and you get, I don't know, 5,000 clicks in a okay CTR. In the next week, when you change the image, you get uh, a, a much better CTR, let's say 7%, uh, but you only got, uh, I don't know, a, a thousand uh, clicks, a thousand impressions there. That means that you have much less volume on your uh, test and it's not a, a really comparable test. So you wanna also be looking at volume metrics such as impressions, clicks, and conversions. So look at those two, as you can see here, your products are going to be listed here and you can take a look at these metrics. You're going to be looking at the CTR, the number of impressions, clicks, and your cost per conversion, which is not a direct relation uh, of, uh, with the image you're choosing. However, it's always good to, to see. Now, you can analyze the data in two ways here. The first one, which is the one I personally recommend, split test one new image per week for the same product. You wanna, uh, in a certain week, let's say the first week of the month, if you don't have a lot of fluctuation, uh, throughout the month. That's, uh, I'd say, a better, a better way of doing this. You simply put uh, one of the images, let your campaign uh, spend some money there. You want to at least be spending uh, um, uh, 100 a day for this test or more, depending on how much this product individually will be spending, but at least that. Uh, and then you simply analyze the data after one week. You take a screenshot of your uh, columns. Then on the next week, you change the image again wait one more uh, week and analyze the data with the second image. So now you have a clear split test between the two in two separate weeks. You see which one works the best. You can always do that. Uh, you can also do that throughout a whole month so you have more data. So leave it for, for one month and then on the following month you analyze it again. Uh, main metric you're going to be looking for here is the CTR. Now, second way to do it, if you have uh, sales that fluctuate a lot, and uh, doing different uh, parts of the month or parts of the year, you can also go with split testing two images for different products at the same time. So let's say you sell uh, wallets and your wallets are pretty similar between each other. The number of sales, uh, they're, they're very close to each other in terms of overall metrics. You can always have one of the wallets in a white background and the next one in a, with the boxes behind it and see if there's a clear difference in CTR. If one of them performs much better, then that indicates that the, the second image uh, works uh, better, and um, then you can uh, change the, 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 the white background to one, uh, a box image, for example, and see if that follows the trend. So those are the two ways in which uh, I recommend you testing this. The first one, I'd say it's a little more accurate because you have the same product in different time frames. That's really good for split testing. But overall, that's how uh, we go about split testing 
product images on Merchant Center. Now, remember, this is something more advanced. We only we don't do that all the time for all brands. We do it occasionally for brands where we are trying to find an edge where we already spent a lot. We already optimized pretty much everything that there was to be optimized on that account, and we are trying to get an edge. This is not something that's going to. Uh, this is not your eighty twenty. Uh, I'd say. Keep that in mind, implement that for your brand and you see much better results. And uh, I hope this was valuable. I hope this information here helped you, gave you some ideas as to how to go about split testing, how to analyze the data and how to uh, pretty much find better images for your campaigns. So for this video, that's pretty much it. I appreciate you watching. We'll have another video next week. So stay tuned, make sure to like, subscribe and leave a comment. If you have any questions, I'm always happy to help. So that's pretty much it for this video. I'll see you in the next one.